first test, we have two plugs. These are from a bent grass fairway, and you can see that uh, there's a, a fairly good thatch layer here. This represents one of the barriers that you as a professional turf manager will face when it, when it comes to getting water into the soil. So the first thing we're going to do is use a solution of water and dye. And we're going to pour it on this core that we've dried to, to simulate summer conditions. Notice how the water is beating up and this is caused by the surface tension and the barrier that's created by the thatch. If I continue to pour the water, what you'll see is it's just continuing to run off the core and really not effectively infiltrating the soil underneath the thatch. And this is a real world situation that many turf managers experience and often leads to water running from high spots to low spots, causing puddling in low spots and causing dry areas on high areas. This solution is a combination of dye, water, and a surfactant. And in the case of this surfactant, there's a component in the surfactant that breaks surface tension, increases infiltration, and you'll notice that the water will move readily off the surface of the plug and should infiltrate through the thatch. Notice how you're not seeing the beading and puddling as this material moves through the thatch. And as a matter of fact, you can see the water coming out the bottom of the core. So we have infiltrated through the thatch, we're in the soil and we're now starting to see the solution move readily through the soil and come out the bottom. When growing aggressive turf types or maintaining turf with a thatch layer greater than one half of an inch, infiltration surfactants can serve as valuable water management tools. In the infiltration test, we were using a surfactant that had the ability to break surface tension very effectively. But not all soil surfactants or wetting agents that break surface tension are good at allowing for hydration. So in this bench test, what we're going to show is the ability of a surfactant to affect hydration. That's the uniform movement of water into a soil. We have two soil cores here. These were taken from a golf course with bent grass fairways. What we've done is inverted these cores so they're upside down. So the ability of the surfactant to move through the thatch and to, to get the water hydrating into the soil is key. The solution in my right hand is dye and water. The solution in my left hand is dye, water, and surfactant. I'm going to pour them in and then just note the way the water moves through the thatch layer and starts to hydrate the soil. And on this side, the solution contained dye and water. You can notice that there's really no infiltration occurring through the thatch and there's no hydration occurring up into the, into the core. Notice on the solution that has surfactant water and dye, how the water is starting to more effectively hydrate up into the soil. It's already moved through the thatch and you're now starting to get hydration. And what we're going to do is allow these to sit here so that over time you can see the difference between water on its own and water and surfactant and how you're moving the, the water more effectively with the use of a good hydration surfactant.